Hi guys, welcome to another episode of How To Tutorials by Levolution Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can create lip sync using grease pencil in Blender. Let's get started. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to animate the leap of this uh, funny looking cube to the soundtrack hello friend okay. hello friend and if you take notes the eyes is already animated and i did oh, that yeah. using this uh, modifier called time offset modifier okay and if you look at my grease pencil data here I have two different layers, one for the eyes and one for the mouth. And on the mouth layer, I already created my mouth shapes. I have about 11 of them. And I drew each of these mouth shapes on individual frames. So the mouth shape span across frame 1 to frame 11. And as you can see here, when I flip through the frames, you can see the different shapes of the mouth here for the character. If you don't know how to draw the shapes, just uh, go to your scene and then use Shift A to create a. Well, by default, your scene will be in the object mode. So, of course, you have to be in the object mode. Then Shift A to create um, the grease pencil and then click on blank. And I create a grease pencil here on the right hand side, as you can see here in my scene collection, the G pencil. And once your grease pencil is created, by default, you'll be in the draw mode to draw whatever you want to draw with your grease pencil. And don't also forget to turn on your auto keyframing because that would help you a lot. So when I move to the next frame and I draw, it's going to override the previous drawing. And then I'm going to have a new keyframe on that particular frame. Okay, so um, I already have my sound in the um scene file and the sound is starting from frame 20 so i'm going to start my animation from frame 20 and if you don't know how to add sound to your scene we already have a video on this channel that shows you how you can add your sound to your scene so the link will be shared in the description below you can follow the link and then check out the video on how to import your sound and also edit your sound in blender so um hello friend what? And if you don't know how to listen to your sound when you scrub, you can easily do so by clicking on the playback and then check scrubbing. That helps you to Hello. hear the feedback Friend. when you scrub. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Okay, so I feel like before the hello, there's a bit of silence and I want to get that in as soon as possible by going to frame 20 and then switching to the um, modifier properties, click on add modifier and then click on the time offset. Now for this time offset, I want to change from regular to fixed frame. And of course, I want the influence to be the mouth because that is what I'm about to animate. Now, when I change the frame, watch what happens it changes to the shape of the particular um, mouth drawing that i have on the individual frame so on frame three i have this shape for the mouth on frame four i have the o shape and to prove that to you let me scroll down to frame four and you can see i have the o shape here okay i need to disable this for you to see it clearly now, I have O shape on frame 4. When I go to frame 5, I have a different shape, as you can see. So back to frame 4, and I want to turn this back on. And that overrides whatever I'll be seeing in my scene. And this simply means that by keyframing my frame number here, I can easily have um, my mouth shape change based on the input of the frame number. <laughs> So to accommodate for this space, I want a close-up mouth shape. So I'm going to search through 
Okay, this is a close-up mount shape on frame 7. So, hit this uh, button to drop a keyframe. And as soon as I did that, I have my keyframe here. So, I need to hide one of these, which is this. So, I have the mount keyframe left. Now, before the air sound, I want to have a funny, a weird mouth shape. So I think I need to drop that in here. Um, I want something funny. Okay, so this weird mouth shape comes in here and then my keyframe is there. Now we have the... We have the air. So, just talk around to get where the air is. Okay, this feels more like the air for me, so I have that there. Hello, so you have the L shape. I'm going to look for the L shape now. Okay, here is the L shape. So I'm exposing the L shape for about three frames, and then I'm going to O. Now this is the O shape. So I'm going with the big O first. O. So I want the big O to um, fade into the smaller O, just to add a bit of effect to it. O. So I'm going to expose that for two, for three frames, and then go back. To the smaller O. Okay. Then I'm gonna expose this for one, two, three, four, five, five frames before the mouth shuts. Okay, so mouth shuts, word mouth before the frames, word mouth. Word mouth, then the F shape. Okay, this is it. The F shape comes in. Hold the F shape for about three frames as well. And then uh, change to the air sound. Yep. Yeah. Hey. So this can go for the E. Then the close, the NG, close. And finally, the mount close. Yeah. So that's it. I'm done. But the last thing I want to do here is select everything and right click to change the interpolation mode to constant. Hello, friend. And that's all. So now when you play back, hello, friend. You have that. hello, friend. Now the beautiful thing about this is you can add this to an animated mesh or a character. I already animated uh, this cube and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. So I'm going back to the object mode, select the cube and uncheck the object transformation here to have the animation back. And when I do this, you can see my drawing Hello, follows friend. the cube. Hello, friend. And that's Hello, interesting to watch. Friend. Hello, friend. Okay, so it's time to uh, clean up the camera animation. I can see that uh, my auto keyframe is still on. I forgot to turn that off, so I'm going to turn it off now. And delete the word motion at the end. Um, go back to dope sheet. Hello. Okay, so we just want to stop here. Uh, camera out, out. Hello, 
friend so hello friend hello friend hello so last thing to note here is if you want to create a new one and you want your drawing to be exactly on the surface as you can see i stylized mine here is a bit far away from the cube if you want yours to be closer to the cube you can easily do so by um, going to the layer add a new one right and then go to draw now here i'm going to change my option to surface and then change the offset here so this is the trick here you can reduce you put one here z and you can see just by changing the the offset now i have my drawing very very close to the cube so with these there's a lot of possibilities you can be so creative and do something fantastic with this method so i hope uh, you've learned one or two things from this video don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel if you've not done so and until next time keep your creativity blending